Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're checking out Nanite inside of VR, and this is running on the i9-13900K and RTX 4090. Here we are inside of the newest version of Unreal Engine, which is Unreal Engine 5.1 Preview 2, where they have added support for things like Nanite and Lumen in VR. And this is absolutely insane. I have no idea where to start. I mean, you just have all these mega scans rocks that are just photorealistic, and they all have Nanite enabled. So so they all have millions of triangles. I mean, you can see every single rock and every single pebble on the ground. It's just crazy realistic. Now, before we get in the video, just a quick word from our sponsor, which is actually myself. I made a Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course that you guys can enroll in and take now. Learn how to make a multiplayer survival game in Unreal Engine 5. In this course, I teach you how to make a crafting system, inventory system, building system, even a clan system where you can raid other players. There are so many things that we do in this course, and this course is currently in early access, so if you enroll today, you get a big early access discount and lifetime access to all future lectures that are added to the course. Enroll in the course today to take your game development skills to the next level. Now back to the video. By the way, I just dragged in a couple of Megascans uh, models into the scene just to check out how things work with uh, Nanite and VR. And I mean, just check out this tree. I mean, I can get really close up to the bark and you can see every single splinter of wood, all the bark peeling off this tree. And these are just all Megascans models that are essentially just photo scans of different real life objects. Another amazing thing about this is we got Lumen, which is the global illumination setup. So this is all dynamic lighting. There's no baked lighting or anything. And I mean, just look how soft all the shadows are it looks absolutely incredible now i'm not sure why the shading behind this tree is super dark i'll have to look into figuring out what's wrong with that but other than that the lighting is just absolutely perfect i'll even have to test out changing the time of day like rotating the light source around just to see the dynamic lighting changing in real time i think that would be pretty cool to see by the way i'm just using the oculus quest 2 with airlink so this is all wireless what i would like to test is doing this on another different headset that maybe has a higher screen resolution because i think the only current limitation that i'm experiencing is just the resolution of the vr headset i mean i'm using the quest 2 don't get me wrong this looks amazing but i'd love to see this test this out on a higher resolution vr headset where you can't really see the pixels up close and i think when we get to that point it's going to be hard to distinguish you know vr games from real life what i want to try later on is to try and create a full complete scene uh, inside of Unreal Engine where it's just only nanite meshes and I want to only use these uh, mega scans nanite meshes to see if I can create some sort of realistic scene in VR to really push the limits of my RTX 4090. Maybe I'll make some sort of beach scene or something like that but let me know what kind of scene or environment you guys want me to try and make. Uh, down in the comments down below and i'll try my best to create it so yeah this is unreal engine 5.1 preview 2 which is you know basically early access or beta version i mean we're still yet to have the official release of this version it's been out in preview for quite a while and my guess is that it's hopefully coming out either this month in november or either next month in December. But I mean, once we get a stable build of Unreal Engine 5.1, I think we're going to see a lot more VR games that are using these technologies like Nanite and Lumen to make realistic scenes like this. I mean, the only caveat to this currently is that it's only for PC VR games. I mean, currently you can't actually package the game and test this out on a standalone mode on the Quest 2 headset. Uh, because I believe at the moment Nanite and Lumen aren't supported on that type of hardware and also, you know, mobile hardware and things like that. But, I mean, maybe that will change in the future. I mean, Epic is adding Nanite to so many different things. We now have, you know, Nanite landscapes in 5.1 and Nanite trees and foliage. So, so, I mean, it's only a matter of time until they add it for mobile devices and things like that. Basically, this Nanite system will be the new LOD system inside of Unreal Engine so that you don't have to use you know level of detail meshes for anything and you won't be getting any of that pop in that you normally get from using LODs since you'd be using Nanite instead and maybe what I'll try next as well is testing things like the uh, Matrix Awakens city sample map with VR I think that would really push the RTX 4090 to the limits and uh, thinking about it it'd probably make the power connector melt but uh, anyways if you guys have any suggestions or ideas on what I should try next with 
Nanite and VR inside of Unreal Engine 5.1. Let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check out my multiplayer survival game course. Link in the description below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.